Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 12. Now, between episodes, I took advantage of having the Alucard equipment and the Ring of Arcana, and I managed to get a hold of the Skull Shield and the Medusa Shield. Now, the Medusa Shield, interesting little piece of armor, it is one of the few shields in the game that not only has a magic attack when you use the shield rod, but it actually protects you from uh, from being turned into stone. Not only that, if you touch an enemy while using it... Seems I can get this guy over here. Come here, birdie! Come here, buddy! It actually damages them. So do I have to be in the same, relative same screen area in order for this to work? Yeah, that's awesome! Now, I kind of screwed up the last recording just a little bit, so I'm trying to speed things along just a little bit because there's also something I want to get up here. No. Here's his magical attack. <laughs> uh, and I discovered this weird little bug. This weird little glitch. Um, I kind of screwed things up, and I equipped the Mystic Pendant, right? Like I had screwed up having MP and I was wasting it. I had almost no... I had just enough magic energy to activate a magic attack on the Skull Shield. I activated it. And while the Mystic Pendant was equipped, all of my MP went from zero when I used the magic attack and then completely refilled. I don't know why. It was weird and I did not expect it. Now, Skull Shield, on the other hand, aside from looking pretty cool and having the best defense currently for my for, for Alucard period, it also has its own magic attack whenever you use the Shield Rod. I'll get to that in a moment, as soon as I get right about here. This is what I came up here for, Power of Mist. Thanks to this... When I activate Mist, I stay in Mist form. No longer will it be momentary, so I can stay this way for as long as I want. Of course, it drains MP like a bitch. Wow. Now, also, I have enough MP. <sighs> well, you can use magic attacks to damage walls that are breakable, and I was going to bust this open, but inside... It's fire mail. Unfortunately, the fire mail at this point is not only not as strong as the holy mail, it's actually weaker than the ice mail. Kind of makes sense. You're shielding yourself with flame. Ice mail is you're shielding yourself with ice. There's something physical there. Makes sense. So, now that I've done all that I set out to do, and not including getting hit in the face, so I'm just going to use the clock and beat a quick retreat, because I am just not in the mood to deal with all these war geese. I'm just not. I, I just want to move on. I, I was going to try and clear out this, this area of the map, but I kind of don't want to right now, and I've apparently already done that for the most part anyway. So onwards to victory! Now, I had said in the previous episode, or episodes, that I wanted to avoid going to areas of the map that would require me to move on to uh, complete the story. So essentially there were a few areas left that I could go to that would further the story. And I don't want to do those yet. I want to get everything I possibly can that's a side trap. Side trap? A side trip. So really, the only other place left for me to go that's a side trip is Orlok's Quarters. Now, there is something else that I'm just not remembering because my memory is not as good as it used to be. I'm sure you guys will tell me, but I'm pretty sure I've gone everywhere I can go that doesn't require me to, to further the story. So, last side trip, and then onwards to completing the story. I mean, we're already 75% of the way there. I mean, you saw... Well, actually, no, you didn't. Um, we, we've already completed 75% of the castle, so, I mean, it's like... We've been places. 
Here we get ourselves a mana prism. Thanks to that, we can completely restore our health, which is health. Completely restore our mana, which is useful. I know I could use the gravity boots to get up here quicker, but I have more control when I'm using that. There's a luck potion, also useful. Because oftentimes I don't press the button right and I end up double jumping, as you saw there, and I look silly. But I made it. And there are prisoners everywhere. And, well, okay. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have given you hope like that. I'm not going to let you out, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gave you false hope! You were starting to walk away like, I'll just go back into the darkness of my cell. Wait, is he gonna open the door? Are you gonna let me out, Daddy? No, I'm not gonna let you out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to give you false hope. I'm a bad person. And here we have the s stock. As soon as I get it there and get it. It is a unique two-handed sword. Uh, unique in that not only is it more powerful, it is a thrust sword. Thrust. I can't roll my arm. Thrust. Close enough. Unlike most two-handed swords, which just have a long, wide sweep whenever you attack, this actually makes you dash forward and then sweep. It's okay. But considering the fact that it takes from my defense, because, hey, I, you know, had to de-equip a shield, I'd rather keep the shield, personally. Now, in here is supposedly the next familiar. I want that familiar. I want it so bad. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure where it is. All I know is that it's here. I may or may not be able to find it. I may or may not be able to find it. I want it. I want it very much. I want to collect everything that I can possibly collect. And then down here is the next area, which is not too impressive. A couple of hearts, a bag of money, a prisoner. You didn't see him. And then a garnet, of all things. Okay. Well, might as well get the money. I could stay here and farm money very easily. Not very much money, but, you know. Alright, so there is... There's something here. I need... Ah, hi! See how you like lasers! Ghost lasers! Not very much. And ghost lasers was incorrect. I, I should have said, um... I should have said, um... What is this? Okay. Um... Skeletal... Skeletal... Lasers! Hi, I'm... Ow, oh, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Okay, that hurt as bad as I thought it did. Ow! The halberd hurts. Touching him... The, okay. This is getting ridiculous. I should have just lasered him. I should have just lasered him and been done with it. But no, I thought, I got this. It'll be cool. You'll look cool for all your friends on YouTube. Was it really worth it? Was it really? No, not there. That which I seek is here somewhere, and I will find it. No, I don't want the book. It's here somewhere. I know it is. I will find it. Oh, um, this is not it. I think down there is a safe room. Full on hearts. Over here to make sure I'm in control. No, it's something. Oh, it leads to the shortcut. Okay. And hey, a level up. Nice. I guess these guys are a bit stronger. Because the zombies that are in the starting castle area should be much, much weaker. Unless. I just happen to be one point from leveling up, which is entirely possible. I was just one point from leveling up, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. And hey, free heart max. Nice. Might 
about to encounter something I'm not gonna like. I feel like I'm about to encounter something I'm not gonna like. I feel like I'm overthinking things when I don't need to be. I don't even know why this is here. Yep. There we go. Shortcut open. That's it. We can go through now. All right. And, uh, hey, I know where to get the uh, familiar. It's right up here. Yep. All right, I'll, I'll admit, I had to look it up. I knew it was here. I know why I was thinking it was in the upper portion of the map above the save room or something, because I think what had happened was I had found some guides or something online where it was like, yeah, you gotta go over here and do it. And people were, like, absolutely convinced of it, and... No, no, it wasn't there. It was never there. <laughs> and with it, we now have the sword card. And it helps to fill out the map a little bit. So the sword familiar, which I oftentimes missed, is an interesting little familiar. It, um, I think it talks. Have you power enough to wield me? I do. Like the other attack familiars, it will attack. It will attack enemies whenever you get close. Here's the interesting thing about it. Unlike the other familiars, it will change its actual shape, size, and appearance as it levels up. I mean, like, yes, with the bat, whenever you level it up uh, and you turn into a bat, more bats will follow along with you. But I'm talking about just its general default appearance. So it will get stronger, it will change in shape and look different. Not only that, not only that, once it hits level 50, it will transform into a sword that we can equip and use as a weapon. I think it's a magic sword, so it may even have magical attacks. Or I could keep it as a relic and continue to level it up. It's pretty sweet. So it is essentially, from what I have heard, basically the most powerful weapon in the game. So I, I don't know if this is true or not, but... I'm going to roll with it. We're going to use this thing for a long time. Very long time. All right, there he is. Go get him. What? Why did you attack over there? Wow. Impressive. And you got four whole experience points out of that. Hmm. What are, you do what are you doing? What <laughs> are you drunk? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to take a minute here and just fill out the rest of this map. Also, he's one of the few familiar... Well, I shouldn't say few familiars. He won't wander away if you turn into a different form. He'll stay close to you no matter what. Unlike the Phantom. I kind of wanted to keep leveling up the Phantom too, but I mean... All the familiars are useful in their own ways. Some more than others. All the familiars have their pluses and minuses. And, you know... <laughs> I'm not sure which one I want to use for this playthrough. I mean, usually I pick a few and I kind of stick with them. I'll, I'll use the level up trick to, to completely level them up, too. If applicable. But generally speaking, I mean, I'll usually pick one or two and kind of stick to those for the rest of the game, you know? But yeah, no, the uh, the guide I was finding was saying, it's it's up here! No, it's not. People just didn't know how to describe them. Didn't know how to describe, that's what it was. Well, anyways. I have no idea which familiar I'm going to use. I think I'll probably stick to using the sword familiar. At least until it hits level 50 and then probably use it as a weapon, maybe. I don't know. I, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do yet. That's the simple of it. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. So I'll just hang with it as it is for right now. What? What? It's... When it goes up as high as it goes, there's like a reflection. I don't know what it's reflecting, but that's... Weird and cool at the same time. No, I need to keep going up. I don't know what that was all about. That was a little bizarre. 
much. Yeah, I'll go with that. That was a little bizarre. I don't want the book. <laughs> book is nice, but book is not what I need. Now, with all this done, there's only one other... Yeah, there's only one other familiar to get. I don't know where he is, but we will find it along the way, I'm sure. Also, I forgot to mention that iron ball item we found down there is an attack item. I throw it, it hits enemies. It's like hitting them with a big ball of iron. To get through here, you gotta turn into a dog. And if you, for whatever reason, decide to switch forms in here, back to human, you get stuck. I, I don't know why. I, fi I find it amusing. And so here... Well, hello. This is Orlock. I don't know if he likes lasers. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, um, I was going to say the chairs you can sit in, but they're also destructible. So you have a limited time of opportunity to sit down in one of the chairs. Skull Shield Laser OP! Good freaking god! Just... Ah! Oh. I... Wow! 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 Um... Ah! Uh, I take it back. We would have had to have come through here anyways because we needed the Echo of Bat. Echo of Bat basically means when you're in this form and you hit triangle, you, um, you do an echo location thing. I think it damages things, I'm not sure. Uh, also, if you, uh, no? The game doesn't do that? Okay. I was gonna say, the game also puts these little ledges for you to climb up, uh, if you, uh, got in here somehow, but, um, for whatever reason, no ledges after the boss fight. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Well, that was unexpected. I completely destroyed that boss. Uh, <laughs> you didn't even get to see what he could do. Okay, no, it doesn't do anything. Alright, so... um, Well, that was Orlok's quarters. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we've got time. Can I get all the way over there? Oh, of course I can get all the way over there. It's gonna take me a few minutes to get there. It's kind of a trip. But, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll see you when I get where I want to go. <sighs> it didn't seem like a long trip, but it kind of was. Ah, well, we made it where we needed to go anyways. And it actually kind of leads into another area we need to go to, so it all works out. So we need to go down here. Even with the double jump, we couldn't make it across here. But now that we have Form of Bat, we can easily get across. Even better, thanks to Form of Bat, we can literally turn around and farm those two candle posts for $500. Stupid easy. Oh, money. Money! Money is good. Now, interesting thing here. Fucking Claymore, for one. <laughs> it's another... It, it's a scotch two-handed sword. It's a scotch. Like the drink. So that's what swinging a two-handed sword looks like. As far as I know, it doesn't have any special attacks. Oh wait, back forth, back forth and attack, backward forwards attack, you get a little dash. 
kind of neat. Still gonna go with that. Uh, the thing I was gonna say was neat was, I thought it was, I could be thinking of another area. Some of these candles only have a dollar in it, but I could have sworn there was an area. Well, when I run across it, I'll let you know. Ah, here it is. This room has meal tickets. Meal tickets are interesting little items. Whenever you use them, they will literally... a uh, fucking moonstone. Oh, that's good. What this does... Let me go ahead and de-equip here. Really? Okay, so what the Moonstone does is it improves your status after sunset. So it uses your game's internal clock to determine whether it should consider, um, consider time. Apparently, my PlayStation 3's internal clock thinks it's before sunset, so the Moonstone's not going to do anything for me. That is okay. I will use the Ring of Pales just the same. It's a, it, it just works better. Oh, yeah, it's a sellable. Uh, but the meal tickets, the interesting about these meal tickets are, when you use them, it will produce a random food item that you may or may not find somewhere in the game. Or not, not, not may not find, but that you will find. So like there, using one produced a frankfurter. And then an ice cream. And then a, G a, a gyro plate. Now, I'm not going to use the last one. I could, but I'm not going to, and there's a reason. There's an item I can get, once I've completed the game in full, there's an item I can buy from the librarian for a stupid amount of money called the Duplicator. With it, I can equip a usable item in one hand, the Duplicator in the other, and then just keep using the use item infinitely as long as I have one. So with this, I can produce any food item in the game as many times as I feel is necessary. So as long as I have one meal ticket. Just one. So, I'm going to save it here. And then we're going to move on. For some reason, though, I thought this room, whenever you break these open, they would be full of peanuts. But I remembered that they were full of food items, so I was close. I was close. Hey. It's a funny-looking save room. What's going on here? All right, let's have a look at this. See what this is all about. Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die, and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. Demon, death is too good for you. Come here, little boy, and show me what you got. What have I got? I've got skull lasers! 
that apparently miss. Well done. Try again. That are really strong. Oh, that's gonna... Ahaha, you missed. You missed, you wench. Ahaha. Now get down here. Lower. Oh, oh, fuck. Ah. Gotta find the right one. Ah, I found you. Hey, can I use this in there? Aha! You're gonna die! Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be... That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! Ah! So that didn't feel creepy or weird at all at the end there. I think I need to go wash my brain in some bleach. Yeah, I, I, I think I need to go do that right now. Thank <laughs> you.